Hey guys, this is Ike Shulman Ikes with Rollout Reviews, bringing you another Crossfight beat em on review. This time it is CB53 Convert Barrel. We'll set this off to the side and take a look at the packaging really quick, or at least the card it comes on. We can see here an image of Drive Garu Burn with the Convert Barrel all converted. Shows the Convert Barrel there. Shows it has seven control. Shows off all of the features, customization, and its level of control. On the back here, we have the instructions, and that's about it for that. You do get a sticker sheet that has some nice blue strips. You can apply those if you would like. It also has some flame details that sort of match the uh, symbols on Drive Garo Burn, which is kind of cool. Here's the convert barrel without those stickers, and it does look a little bit bland, but it still has some really nice details, like up here and uh, down here as well and aside from that well it's it's a barrel nothing too special going on here I have to say though it does look very cool I think most of the uh, the crossfight beat em on barrels are a little lackluster but this one actually does look kind of cool in my opinion it sort of reminds me of a, uh, a silencer on a gun which is really neat. So this just plugs on to any old beat -em on here and it is compatible with your Crossfire beat -em on as well. We'll do a quick test shot here at a target. And yeah, it does add to the accuracy. It keeps the marble on a straight shot and uh, I guess that's all it really needs to do. However, the convert barrel has one other feature that is actually kind of nifty. You can take these little bits on the top and the bottom and bring them forward like this, and then there's little uh, swivels all along this, and it can swivel out like this. It creates sort of a sight up here, which is kind of nifty. To get it to work properly, I think you have to sort of line this up with the uh, head part, but I mean, it does the job if I can actually shoot the broadside of a barn here. Yeah, it works pretty well. Also, another cool thing you can do is um, rearrange these. They have, you know, four pegs or one peg and four holes on uh, each of these rings. Something you can do here is connect them all up like this and then attach them to the top. Now with this configuration, if you are using a magazine, like the wide magazine here, usually it would uh, block the sight on the top of the head part. Let me just attach this here. There we go. Usually it would block the little sight on the top of the head part. However, with this magazine, you can sort of lift that sight upward so you still have a, a vantage point when uh, firing this, even with a magazine, which is kind of cool. I really dig that feature. I don't know why this is falling off so much. Oh well. Also, much like the Cyclone magazine, uh, this barrel is modular. So, what that means is that if we uh, attach all of these pieces back the way they were originally, like this, what we can do here is take this whole front piece, it's sort of tight on there. But if we pull this off, this whole piece uh, can come off and you can see there's two pegs there and two ports there. And you can buy multiples of this barrel and uh, stack them up on each other to make something that's just ridiculous. Um, and it'll add a whole lot of accuracy to the beat em on um, to, like I said, ridiculous levels. But yeah, there is the convert barrel. Pretty simple, uh, but very unique in concept uh, compared to all of the other barrels of the line. So that is about it, guys. And this is IXRoll at IX, signing off.